Hello, Ms. Jones. My name is Patty. I'm your CNA today. How are you? Great. I need to empty your urinary drainage bag. Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to close your curtain, wash my hands, get my supplies, and I'll be right back. For this skill, I'll need a barrier, which I'll place on the floor under the drainage bag. I'm going to need a set of gloves. And I'm going to need a triangular graduate container. I want to inspect the catheter tubing to make sure that it's coiled on the bed and the patient isn't lying on it and it's not kinked, but also that it's not hanging near the floor where somebody might get their feet tangled up in it and trip or accidentally rip the catheter out. This catheter looks like it's in the appropriate position. We'll now remove the port from its protective sleeve on the bag. Sliding the valve to the side will open the port. We can now position this open port over the graduated container and tilt the bag slightly to the side to allow the contents to drain into the graduated container. While doing so, we want to be careful not to allow that port to touch any other surface. Once the urine bag has been emptied, we'll slide the port back to the side to close it and very carefully insert it back into its protective sleeve. We want to make sure that the bag is hanging on a non-movable part of the bed and it's not touching the floor. We can now fold the chucks over the graduate container for safe and secure transport to the patient's bathroom. Once we're at the patient's bathroom, we're going to set the graduate container down on a barrier on a flat surface and position it so that we can read it. We need to be at eye level and we're going to round to the nearest line, either up or down. You can see that the urine in this container is nearest to the mark of 425, so the amount that we will document is 425 milliliters or cc's. Once we've measured it on a barrier on a flat surface at eye level, we can now empty the urinary graduate container. We'll throw the barrier away, open up the toilet, and we're going to dump the contents of the graduate container into the toilet. Now we're going to rinse the graduate container. We'll deposit the rinse water into the toilet as well. Now we can clean. After dumping the rinse water into the toilet, we'll set it down, use a paper towel to pick it up, paper towel to dry the outside, a paper towel to dry the inside, and we'll discard this, and then one for the drawer. We're going to place the graduate container in the bottom drawer and close the drawer with a paper towel. Okay, now I'll throw the paper towels away and remove my gloves. We'll throw those away as well. Thank you very much, Ms. Jones. Is there anything else I can get for you while I'm here? A magazine, perhaps? You have your call light there. If you should need anything at all, please feel free to let me know. I'm going to open your curtain, wash my hands, and document my skill. Thank you. After washing my hands, I'll document on the intake and output sheet that the evaluator gives me. I'm going to document the time of output, the type of output, which is urine, the amount of output in cc's, and my initials. After documenting, I'll review the steps of my skill, make any corrections, and then tell the evaluator my skill is done. 